<laughs> Adrian <laughs> in I Texas. Didn't, I, didn't, I didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> Adrian, you're live with Eric and Dave. What would you like to talk about today? Well, good afternoon. Um, yes, I'm honored to uh, talk to both of you, Dave and Eric. Aww. And it's a pleasure. Hey, Today, I just wanted to talk about, um, I guess we'll get started with uh, uh, intelligent design, or I believe in a d designer God because of uh, the evidence that was left behind that that we see around us all everywhere, okay. like, um, so, for instance, so, uh, Adrian, DNA. Really quick. Adrian, before we, before we dive in, yeah. I want to make sure that um, we're not talking past each other. What is evidence? What is your definition for evidence? I want to make sure that I, I understand. Well, I guess the same as uh, like in courtrooms, uh, anything that makes it look make makes it look like you know uh, that person is guilty. Okay. Um, so because the world is designed in a certain way, i.e., perfection or whatever, you then say that it, there has to be a designer behind oh, it. Is, is that the is that the premise? Kind of. I, I just want to make it very clear that I'm not saying anything about perfection or um, anything like that. It's just it, it looks designed. But if God is and perfect, I don't, I don't think we have any perfect, wouldn't he design a perfect creation? I wouldn't understand why he would make it just kind of half. I'll do a half ass job here. I don't know if you're if you're attacking a straw man there because does God have to, does does God have to be perfect? I mean, where does it say that? No, God can be a dick. No, he That's can fine. be, yeah, uh, he can be kind of. Well, the Bible says he's jealous and he gets angry, so I guess he's really not perfect at all. He's kind of like us. Yeah, but um, yeah, I just want to really quickly um, evidence. Yeah. So can I can I give you a definition of evidence for this conversation that might help here? Sure, go ahead. I'm I'm um, willing to listen. I, I'm cribbing off of R and Raw here, and um, I know I'm going to say it incorrectly but the way he says it is it's a singular point of evidence it is a singular point of data that points to one conclusion over another right so if i were to you know look into my alphabet soup and it says eric is right that that's not good evidence right and it definitely wouldn't determine whether or not other claims that i make in the future are correct right so uh, you're, you're, I know you're going to bring in what you call evidence. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be determining whether or not that evidence points towards one thing versus another and how we can determine what it points towards. So what's your first piece of evidence? Okay. Yes. The, uh, there's uh, lots of things that appear in, in nature that appear to be designed, but we can start off. I know you don't have a lot of time, so we can start off with uh, DNA uh, sure. since... Um, Experts like um, Richard Dawkins have okay. um, compared it to. Uh... You know what? I'm just going to look it up. Okay, hang on. Let me. Um, Adrian, are you are you a Christian? Uh, at this point, I don't think it matters. Right, right now, we're just trying to prove uh, God first, and then we could get into like what what religion God is, if that makes sense. You just want to prove the point that there is a God, a designer. Uh, yes, sir. And then, and then, like, we could go in and ask him like uh, uh, specific questions, like how hot of a burrito he could eat, and things of that nature. Spicy, spicy, my friend, spicy. Okay, so um, no, no, what, 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 yeah, I, we could ask I, him all sorts of weird questions after we we um, conclude that there is a God, if that sure. makes sense. It does. And um, so let's start. First off, I have come across so many people who quote mind Richard Dawkins that when you bring it up, my immediate reaction is, I don't, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, really, honestly, either a thing is true or it's not, and it doesn't matter what Richard Dawkins says, either it's true or it's not true. And I mean, I, I don't know where else we can go from there. I, I, and I've got to tell you, uh, Adrian, that personally affects me. The last conversation I ever had with my pastor, 
they uh, they told me that. Um, oh, what was his name? Help me out here, Dave. Um, wheelchair. Uh, he he ha- he came up with tons and tons Stephen of information. Hawking. Stephen, Stephen Hawking. Hawking. Thank you, yeah. Stephen Hawking. Yeah. Um, that uh, of ALS, Stephen Hawking that's why I know. got something wrong, and everybody laughed at him. Which is why you shouldn't listen to him. I'm not worried. Right? I'm so not, I'm not worried about being laughed at. Everybody well, laughs at. No, we're not I, talking about that. You missed the point. A- Adrian, yeah, you're missing the point. The point is whether or not somebody's laughed at, that doesn't mean that it's true or untrue. I don't give a crap. All, so, all of us who claim to be atheists do not hang on in Christ- on, on da- Dawkins' every word. We don't hang on. We don't we don't look at him as God or Jesus or anything. He's just a human like us and he's disseminating information and doing the best he can. He may be right sometimes, he may be wrong sometimes, and I don't care. But he did actually write a good book on this topic in particular, uh, The Blind Watchmaker. Mm-hmm. It, so um, are you saying that because it's complex, it must have been designed? What is giving you the idea that a thing, that DNA was designed by an intelligent creator? Uh, I will... I, I will read The Watchmaker. I have read uh, The Selfish Gene, though, and that's oh, a yeah. good one, too. Um, okay. Um, so that, I'm asking you, and I hope you're answering and not just waiting your turn to talk. Does it being complex yeah, ahead, make it likely to have been intelligent design, intelligently designed? I'm, I'm trying to get at why you're saying this. Is it because it's complex? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, like... No, no. No, I... Not because it's complex. It's just okay. because there's uh, numerous things that, about it that make it appear to be designed. Okay. That's, so, okay. That's, so, we, we we can definitely investigate it. What does a designed thing look like versus an undesigned thing? Because if you're saying that there's the appearance of design, then we have to know what not designed looks like, right? Right. Okay. Cool. What right. and, can you give uh, me an not, example of a thing that's not designed? All right, and this might be uh, circular or something, but uh, it's uh, something that doesn't have it wouldn't have as many things that make it appear to be designed. Okay, so if a thing uh, is not well, so yes, because you're using the word in the definition, um, but that's okay because I I, I still want to kind of pull us through here. Um, is there anything that exists that was not designed? Yes. Okay. If they were not designed, how did they get uh, there? Like, uh, well, um, evolution, like changes that happen over time. And, um, like, well, I'm glad that you think evolution is not designed. That's fantastic. But if that's not what you're saying, then you're not answering me. If something was not designed, how did it get there? Evolution. Right? Okay, so rocks evolved? Well, they, they, fell, they fell off of bigger rocks. I mean, okay, cool. How did those bigger rocks, rocks get there? Let's, 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 let's drive it back because you're saying they're not designed, correct? Correct. Okay. How They're did they not get that? designed? Because, I mean, uh, well, uh, like the scientists say, the the rocks all the scientists. I'm asking you, together. how did the rocks get there? You would say that that the designer designed yeah. the earth, and the rocks are part of the earth, right? So Isn't... rocks would be designed by your viewpoint. I'm thinking, unless that's what my assumption would be. Yeah. Yes, there there had to be um, a mass, I guess, the density of the uh, the Earth, so that we could have the gravity that we have, so that you know, uh, well, the gravity is not as strong here. Well, I mean, I, I I understand we're talking about forces now, but I, I really want to ask, how did the rocks get there? I mean, basically, what I'm what I'm trying to get down to the point is. If DNA was created by an intelligent designer, right? And I'm going to give that mm-hmm. that a name, God. Okay? So if DNA was created by God, is there anything that was not created by God? You said yes. I asked you, were rocks created by God? Were rocks intelligently designed? 
You said, no. I said, so how did they get there? You, you want to know how rocks are made? That's well, I, I want to know how rocks are in existence if they weren't put there by God. I'm asking you to, to flesh out your view on intelligent design because you're saying that something has the appearance that it was intelligently designed. But if your worldview is such that there is nothing in existence that wasn't intelligently designed, then you don't have anything to stand on because you can't compare it to anything. No, I don't think I should. I don't think I should bet. No. Okay, so help me here. Clarify, please. Uh, Were rocks intelligently designed? I I don't know. Like as far as I can tell, no. Like we could go take it all the way back to where maybe they were created by a designer somewhere. But uh, okay. as far as right now, I I. I Ooh, no, are. I like your distinction there, Adrian. Hold on, let's 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 go down there. Okay, you said it in a way that's working for you, so I'm going to pick that up. Um, maybe at some point it was created by an intelligent designer. Is there anything in existence that was not created by an intelligent designer? Anything in existence? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Like they 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 could have like you say that trees are alive and like. Um, like we know that they're like we don't know if they have thoughts and 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 uh yeah, but, I mean, you know. but but hold on hold on i really don't want to muddy the water here whether or not something's conscious doesn't get back to whether or not a thing was intelligently designed um i love the i don't know answer because i think that is that shows a lot of integrity on your part it is hard to say i don't know especially coming from you know the religious background that i came from saying i don't know is something that you got made fun of Right. It, it, it's, it's, I say I don't know all the time. That's awesome. So if you don't know what is and isn't designed, then how are you making the claim that something has the appearance of design? You have to know what you're comparing it to before you can make the comparison. Well, it's got to, it's got to have at least five things that make it appear to be designed. So if you're saying that rocks oh. appear to be designed, then that's wait, proof wait, that you're going to have to back up. I don't know what that no, means. no, no. I'm, I'm asking you to give us an example of something we can compare it to. Because if we have nothing to compare it to, then you're just talking at us. I, I, I don't understand. You're saying that there's something with the appearance of design. And so I'm asking you to give me something undesigned to compare it against. I'm not making the claim. I'm just trying to follow down the road that you're that you're giving. I'm I meeting did. where you're at. You're saying this I thing was intelligently designed. And so I'm trying to find if there's anything in your worldview that isn't. Yes, but I the example of rocks. I gave you that example. And then I showed you how there's nothing about a rock that appears to be designed. And then I asked you to give me anything. What do you think about a rock that appears to be designed? I don't I don't think there's anything. Oh. No, no, no. I, I don't either. But I think you're being either you're having some cognitive dissonance and having conflicting thoughts that are not working well together, or I'm misunderstanding you. Because I liked the way you put it earlier. Maybe that helped. Maybe it was put into place or, or brought into existence by an intelligent designer. And my understanding is that your view is everything was created by an intelligent designer. Am I wrong? It, okay. Is it your view that everything was created by an intelligent designer? It has to have at least five things that appear to be designed about it. Hold on. I don't know how Ask, else to make that. Was everything in existence that. created by an intelligent designer? Well, it depends on you know, the evidence for that thing that you're talking about. So, like the thing okay. that we're talking about, so, like so you, you wanted to. There are things first, that are in existence. There are things that are in existence that were not created by an intelligent designer. Is that, so, yes, I don't know. Like, okay, so how did they get there? Because if, 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 if we got our example of rocks, that means that if you were to zoom back to whenever you think the creation happened, there was God and rocks because the God didn't create them, right? What else was there? I don't think that we can do no, that. I, I, I think that you do believe that it was created. There's nothing about a rock that I think looks designed about a rock. So 
Okay, yeah. so how did it get there? That's, that's why I got I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm totally happy taking the, the viewpoint that there are things that God created and there are things that God didn't create. Now, the question there is, how do we determine whether or not something was created by God? And ultimately, once you get to the point where we're saying something does not have to have been created by God, it becomes infinitely unlikely that that God created anything. Yeah, I know... Um... Yeah, people don't have to uh, die of murder either. But if it, um, it like like murder is not necessary for death, right? But if there's evidence that points to somebody being a murderer, then why would you say that you don't know? Because right? if because if you can't tell the difference between murder and not murder, then you should not be making an evaluation about whether or not murder occurred. It has to have things about it that appear to be murder, right? How can you make a determination that something appears to be anything if you don't have anything to compare it against? Maybe, well, I'm, maybe I'm talking past you. Maybe I'm day. making a straw man. Hold on. Can I clarify? Um, so we, let, let's, 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 let, let's be super clear. I'm going on the assumption that you think that everything was created by this God everything in existence was poofed into existence by that deity. If your viewpoint is that no, there's a that, chance that maybe other things existed and that God just happened across them, you know, there was God and rocks. Heck, even in, the, even in Genesis, it says, in the beginning, God okay. stood upon the surface of the water. Uh, so we got rocks and water. I, I mean, if, if you're going with that, then I'm talking past you and I apologize. But if you're not, then help me here. Please... Can, can you can you clarify? Yes, sir. I will help you. Yes, you're attacking a straw man there because I never I never brought up the Bible. I don't even know why you brought up the Bible. Um, I don't know how you know that I believe everything that's in the Bible is true. And Do you? Um, and then also, no, well, no, I don't. Okay. Fair enough, because it's my point of reference, and we definitely bring a lot of the baggage that we have. He was he was making an example using the Bible. It wasn't infer inferring that you believe the Bible. I, I, and you know what? Actually, the way I communicated it was very poorly. Uh, so I apologize. Um, so Adrian, you you are, I, I was attacking a straw man. You're saying that there are things that were not created by God that, you know, at least, at the very least, we know that there was God and rocks that were not created by God. So now we can compare them, right? Yes, you can look at uh, things that uh, are designed or or things that aren't designed and pick out the things that uh, appear to be designed about it. And then uh, if there's, you know, if there's a number of things, you know, that appear to be designed about this thing, then I think it's safe to say that it is designed. Okay. So, uh, so, so far in the bucket of things that are designed and not designed, we've got rocks and everything else. So could I say if a thing is not a rock, it was designed? Thing, uh, well, it depends on what that thing is that you're talking about. Not mm. a rock. Like what else? What else? Anything else? Thinking about a anything? Anything but a rock. Like a car. Like a car. Uh, it could be. Um, How about a human being? How about a person? Sure. Or it could be. Uh, I'm cupping water in my hands. Both of those things are not rocks. Okay, which one do you want to go with? Cup of water or what was yours, Dave? Let's go with Dave since a human, a human <laughs> being. A, okay. human, a human being. Are we designed? A human. Okay, so okay, so you just here's how you do it, uh, Dave. Here's how your logic should work: is what about a human appears to be designed? And then and you, you tell just, me you're the one that new, has the criterion for design. You've got five things that. I'm curious what they are, but you keep saying walking, five things that yeah, have to I be. Yeah, I keep cutting them off on the five things. Yeah, well, I don't know where you got the five things that have to be a part of something being evidence for design, but I'm asking you, are we as human beings designed by an intelligent designer? Because that's what matters. Yes, yeah, so I'm you... walking you. Go ahead. Yes, yeah, sir. Sorry. Yes, sir. I'm walking you through it like 
if, if what the fast answer, yes, yes. Uh, there's numerous things about a human that appear to be designed. So, I mean, that's okay. the fast answer. And then I was going to walk you through the numerous things that, about a human that appear to be designed. And okay. Then, um, that's so, for the sake of time, let's cut to, to the chase. Um, yeah. For me, I because I'm I'm yeah. having oh, a Jesus, hard time. Thirty, yeah. I'm having a hard time following. I know you. What this? Here's here's a bigger question for me, Adrian. Why does it matter? Uh, 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 let me give you this, and and Eric made. I want to do this because he's he's a a better a better um, uh, debater and things. He's he's more knowledgeable in these areas than I am. But I'm a simple man, and uh, my question to you is: Let me give you that argument we have an intelligent designer he it they she them created the world human beings whatever whatever you want to say they created there is an intelligent designer let's call it god uh like you said we can argue about which god which god uh later not in this show because we're running out of time but let's give you there is an intelligent designer so what i see no evidence anywhere in the world that this intelligent intelligent designer is active and involved with his creation. So, what does it matter? Well, I mean, maybe it could be uh, involved in in some people, but uh, I don't, don't see don't any you evidence. Want to know of that. the truth, though, Dave. I, I honestly about Dave. whether there's a designer or not. No, I don't. Because it doesn't okay. matter. It doesn't Man. matter to me how we got here because honestly, we don't know. Let's just be real. We don't know. Where do you draw and and I'm asking okay. you, do you what difference does it make? Where do you draw the line on what you want to know the truth about and what you don't want to know the truth about, Dave? If, if I could, if you, I, could if I, I just told you, Adrian, I don't give a shit how we got here. I'm concerned with Show me the evidence that there's a God, a deity, an intelligent designer anywhere doing anything in the world for anyone. And I, I don't think you can. Now, you, you claim to have truths that I should want to know, and you're implying that I don't want to know the truth, and that's rather offensive. I'm just telling you I'm more interested in things that matter in the day-to-day -day living of human beings that I encounter every day, and myself included. And I don't see a God anywhere doing oh, anything for anyone. So... You can tell me all day that you've got the truth about how we got created and where the intel who the intelligent designer is. You can say all day that you've got the truth to that. I don't think you can back up those claims with evidence enough. We don't have enough time in this show or all the rest of the shows today for that to happen. But my question to you is simple. Let me give you that. There's an intelligent designer. Now what? Big deal. Yes, uh, you don't have time for the truth. No, I'm asking you a question. question. Other people I'm giving you. you. I'm giving you your point. There is an intelligent designer, whoever you want that to be. I'm giving you that. Now, yeah. so what? So you know the truth now. What do I do with it now, Adrian? What do I do with it? How does it help me? How does it help me get through my day? How does it help me make the world a better place? How does it help me deal with COVID? How does it help me in any way? There was an intelligent designer, big fucking deal. Well, it just shows that there was something, uh, there was a purpose to this, all, all of this. And what's and, that uh, purpose? It may, it may not have been, I don't it see may the not purpose. have been perfect. You know? I don't see the purpose. I see suffering means, and, and, and pain and uh, hate. Okay. And and greed and jealousy. I don't see the purpose in some intelligent designer. And it, what it makes it possible that there's an afterlife. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it does not at all. That's a huge leap. Yeah. Essentially, if you were Which to afterlife? bring life, you have 70 virgins or are well, you going to be with Jesus? Which afterlife are you picking? And ultimately, the point there is. If you were granted th this creating be creative being, then all it all, the only qualities it has is that it can create universes. Yeah, it spun a top out in the universe, and the top's been spinning ever since, and we're on our own. So figure it out, people. That's all I see. So it doesn't, it doesn't get us yeah, to the not, 
it doesn't get us to eternal life. Yeah, I, I mean, what was it? Was it Family Guy who uh, who had God uh, light a fart during a bender and create the universe? Is that purpose? Does anything created in that have purpose? If that was how it happened? No, but I mean, it, it gets you okay. to somewhere. So you can have, uh, hold on, that, that's that, important. So you can have creation without purpose. Oh, so how are you concluding there's purpose because something was created? It sounds like there's a lot of stuff that you're shoehorning in. There's a lot of gaps that you're filling with God. And it, it, you didn't, you, you kind of dodged the question about if I asked you a Christian, but if I asked you if you're a Christian, but when you came to me giving you uh, a, a, a creative designer, then you jumped to eternal life because there's a purpose. And I'm, I don't know which eternal life you're assuming there is. But you could tell me if you wanted to, but there are many eternal lives given to the many religions that exist in the world today. So which one are you talking about that we have proof of? Oh, uh, anything you want. Like uh, if there's a... Um, <laughs> I want a, 70 virgins. A heaven or a... He yeah, I'm, I'm a a heaven or hell. Anything would, would uh, fall under the category of something rather than nothing. And I, I'm happy either way. I'm, I hope you are. But uh, I, no, I'm, I don't I'm ready need for eternal life. Something. I don't need eternity. I don't know if no. you know my story, but I'm an atheist who used to be a Christian. And I was diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease a little over a year ago. And I've been given three to five years to live. And I don't need an afterlife. Yeah, I'm soaking up this life. And this life is plenty good enough. And I don't have to create a story are, that gives me an eternal life. But are you prepared for if there is one? I'm prepared for whatever. Like, are you ready for? I, so, are you ready I, for that? Like, I, I'm totally ready for anything, Adrian. I hope you are too. I, I I don't need fairy tale stories to try to make me feel better about what happens after I die. I'm completely fine with not knowing. Because the reality is, Adrian, you none of us on this show know what, knows what happens after we die. None of us. Yeah, we're all, we're all agnostic whether you like it or not, right? That's right. And I don't need to make up a story to make me feel better. Right, we're not making up anything. We're going by the evidence. No. I, I, there's no disagree. Making, yeah. I, I disagree. And, and, there, there are so many pieces there. I don't even know where to pick. Yeah, up. I don't even know where to start um, with all that. Yeah, yeah no. Adrian, um, if you want to call back and talk about, hey. are you prepared for the afterlife? You can, because it feels like thuggery. It feels like um, that God would say, "Well, you know, this is a really nice house. I'd hate to see it burn down." Yeah, but, hate, yeah, to, it's, hate it, to see it's, something it's, happen to your family there, buddy. Yeah, um, but regardless, <laughs> um, that, that that's that's entirely aside, Dave. Adrian, I, I think. Back in another straw, man. Oh, you said, no. are you prepared for an afterlife? Is that not no. what you meant? No. Either way. Oh, okay. I said, are so you ready it for it either way? I'm ready for it either way. If there's nothing, I'm ready for that. Yeah, I'm ready I, for that. I, but I, if I there's something, like I'm also I'm going to be in the book of Eric. I, I want to make. Sure. All right. All Maybe. right. Okay. Call back. Take it I easy, I'm preaching. I'm, hmm? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to preach it. No, that's that, all right. I'm, that's I'm okay. Used, we all got I'm a used to it. I'm used to it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Um, Pascal's wager. It, yeah. Uh, and, and, and really, honestly, Pascal, yeah. look at Pascal's wager. That'll, that'll get you there. Um, you were talking about version. design when we got off base. And you said that things have to meet five criteria for it to be designed, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Perfect. So I'm going to take Five those and apply that, them to a rock. What's number one? I'm sorry. What was that? I'm What's sorry I diverted one? this. I'm sorry I diverted this from this question of design. Okay. But Matt, now we can get back to that. What's number one? Sorry. Go ahead. What's number one? You said it needs to meet five things for to be designed. What's number one? Well, it depends what you're talking about. Like if for a car, uh, I guess. No, the, uh, it doesn't. Adrian, you've you told us you several said there times. Five criteria Adrian, for something to be designed. Adrian, Adrian you've told five? us several times that there are five criterion to, to designate something as having being 
being designed by a creator? What are the five? Just tell it. Just what are the five oh, things well, I, you I, keep I, referencing? I'm, yeah, let, let's start with number one. What's number okay. one? One at a time. Oh, we're, t we're talking about the Earth. Then it's going to be the tilt of the Earth, the mm. um, distance that the Earth is from the sun, the, um, the magnetic field, the ozone layer, the... Okay. Um, Are any of those things a rock? <laughs> <laughs> the Earth is. Are any of those things a rock? So if I pick up a, a rock outside, is it the earth? Does it, are we talking about, what are we talking about? Is, are those the five things? Those are at least five things that make the earth appear to be designed. So it just depends sorry, on no, what I'm you're talking you about. Of the general, what five things, what are the criteria for something to count as designed? So like, for example, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that the uh, universe is designed because I, wouldn't, I don't have at least five things that I could say make the universe appear to be designed, but I do oh. have at least five things that make uh, this solar system that we're in appear to be designed, uh, this planet that we're on appear to be okay. designed, the moon that we have appears so, to be yeah. designed. Okay, so, 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 so hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. You have to have five things for something to count as... Okay, um, I'll give you one because it's my kryptonite, the moon. How does the moon appear to be designed? The moon appears to be designed because it uh, it uh, makes the tilt of the Earth the way it is, and it gives us our four seasons. Okay, hold on. And uh, also, that's how gravity works I, and how physics works. You're talking about things that we understand. There's no magical claim needed, and there's no design needed. You're just describing shit that exists. So, no, I reject the first one. Let's go to the second. And there's there's some experts now that are thinking that there's uh, parts of the moon that are hollow. There are experts who think that if you spun your asshole, you will be able to get nutrients for the day. Do you think the moon is hollow? Also, the the best thing about the moon was the that, uh, the rotation of it. It was it okay, was hold on. faster before. Hey, Adrian, and, wait, you you just brought up the hollow moon. How am I not going to talk about this? Okay. So if, if the moon is hollow, it's created, and if it's not hollow, it's not created? That's just what some people are saying, and we don't, don't know care what, what some people are inside saying. the moon. Back up your point. Why did you bring up it, it's ho it being hollow? It, does that mean that we have created and not created? Or are you giving me a red herring? Yeah, that, that's just something that makes it appear to be designed. And then I'm going on oh, to the, okay, the okay, newer things hold on, that appear. Hold on. Hold on. Be consistent. So if it's not hollow, it was not designed. Is that correct? It's not hollow. It was not designed. Yes. Otherwise, you're picking and choosing. And you're what, going, that sounds good. That might it's be hollow. an appearance. But there's nothing to the contrary. There's no Some way to prove myself Some people myself say wrong. you can inject disinfectant into your body and treat COVID. Some people say all kinds of things. You can't go by what some people say. Yeah, just... I'm, I, you, you made a claim. Some people say the moon is hollow. The claim was your response to was the moon created. And so that must mean that you think that it's created because it's hollow. And if it's not hollow, it must not have been created, correct? Oh, it's because we don't know what's inside of it. So it, there could be like okay. electronic things okay. in there. Who knows? Okay, cool. So, so we don't know can be evidence of things? No, no, no. Okay, no, so yeah, why are you using it as evidence? To the, uh, the rotation of the moon slowed stop. down. No, stop. Where it's at no, it, stop. It's, You're talking about the hollow moon here. Don't tell me about rotation. You were talking about the hollow moon. You said that either it's hollow and designed or it's not hollow and it's not designed. Am I making a straw man or is that what you're saying? Yes, you're making a straw man because I, I'm okay. talking about Was the rotation. Either way? Well, why'd you bring up the hollow part if yeah. you're just talking about the rotation? Why'd you even bring up the hollow part of the moon? What's that have to right. do with anything? Because if it was designed either way, then that's a red right. herring and you're wasting my time. Diverting. And Dave's time. It has to do with the rotation of the Earth, and that's what I was getting to. I mean, so, I don't so, know why you, you wanted to talk to that. No. I mean, you because, brought up hollow moon. I don't know what that has to do with anything. 
so we're talking about creation, and instead of giving me five things that show a thing was created, he said, no, 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 no. Everything just has different reasons why we can show it's created. Yeah. Okay, so you still haven't given us any, any way to determine created from not created. You just pushed the ball down the road, and now we're just chasing your goalposts wherever we go, and I'm, I'm sick and tired. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've been, yeah. Long yeah, time. I, I, long I mean, they ago. granted you that there's a creator God just to see what happens, and you sat there like the dog who finally caught the car. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to know the truth. You can't handle the truth. I, I don't know. I, you don't know is not good evidence. If you want to say that something's created, compare it against something that's not created. I mean, th these 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 should be obvious. Some people say it's hollow and gravity or something. Isn't good evidence but, for? Let's move on to the road. No, let's not. Really I think we're wasting evidence. my time. Yeah. This. Yeah. Come up with actual <laughs> evidence instead of what about isms. Because until you get there, you're it's wasting not. my time and you're wasting Dave's. Bye. Best evidence. Okay. Thank you. My God, I was about to bang my head against the desk here. No worries. I. I anyway. Is there something I don't know about um, rules for evidence for design? Is is there a five thing rule I didn't know about? I don't know no. what that means. Honestly, it, it's something that I came across. Um, okay. When I, when I wondered I'm, if there was something there, I didn't know. No, no, no. There's nothing there. It, it's something that I came across when I was looking for uh, where God was. When I thought there had to be a God, and what that thing was was a whole lot of people who never answered questions. They just kept shooting along different assertions without having to provide evidence. Well, for I anything. just didn't know if there's somebody somewhere had come up with this rule that it has to meet five criteria in order to be designed. Uh, I. I I don't know. That didn't make any sense to me. Why yeah, not seven? Right. I mean, why not 15? I, I don't know. Yeah. It not was sure. annoying. But anyway. uh, it, it it definitely seemed like he was more interested in more whataboutisms than actually. Mm -hmm. So You gave him you, a lot of time, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I You're know. way more patient than me.